Morning, welcome to another vlog. Uh, today we're away at Boston, the coach is just behind me. So uh, we're running a little bit late as usual for the away days. Um, hopefully we're looking for a, a continued performances from last week. Um, the weather's not the best, so it'll be a bit of a difficult game, I assume, because uh, we don't like boggy pitches. We're used to playing on our perfect surface. So, uh, but yeah, we shall see you on the coach and I think we'll stop halfway. So we'll have a little quick check and then and see if we can speak to some people and uh, see what they think the results are going to be and what they think for the last game. So cheers for all the likes and follows on the last video and stuff and the shares. Um, also, I'm doing artwork and stuff. So if you do uh, click on my Twitter link, which is in the description, you'll be able to see some of that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching and <laughs> we shall see you in, uh, in a minute on the coach. Oh yeah, it's bright here today. Some of the players have turned up by looks of it. So we got here and the uh, weather's nice. So hopefully it stays like this and doesn't rain for the rest of the day. So, um, the very old ground. We're gonna head into the supporters lounge, I would assume. I think most of the, most of the other supporters are in there watching the Leicester game. So I had a look at the team sheet, uh, well, I say team sheet, the squad, and it's the same squad that was uh, there for the game against Nuneaton on New Year's Day. So uh, I can't see him changing anything, to be fair. I think maybe the three strikers might change to two wingers and a solo striker, but other than that, I think it might be the same as. So uh, I'll have a look when we get inside. When the team sheet's announced, I'll give you any news. Other than that, um, <laughs> it is what it is. Into the function suite we go. What was it I said about the weather? Big dirty rain cloud just before kickoff. This is going to be horrible. Cool. Nice little entrance bit they've got here that they've done. A little bit of mural paintwork and stuff. So, uh, should be good. Players, I think, are out already warming up, so. Sub in what two minutes? Yeah. So Brad on for centre back by the looks of it. So I think we're about ten minutes in and there's been Jones off injured, um, suspected concussion, and we've gone to Burns in the middle of the back three. Uh, we haven't really got out of our half, and it's been all Boston to be fair. The ball keeps going out of touch, so it's been very stop start. Time! Oh, that's not time, is it? Jesus Christ. Son at the minute making it very hard to film, but Tamworth still haven't really got out of their half. They've had maybe one chance, so to speak of. Other than that, it's been uh, very dire. And
I suppose there must be like five or six minutes for Jones's injury. Yeah. No? <laughs> he says. So we're at half time, 1-0 um, Boston. The last 10 minutes of the game, time started to get into it, so let's hope they come out and play, carry on playing like that. But uh, first, first four, well, first half an hour was solid Boston. We've never really got out of our own half. Um, I think that injury to Jones has threw us, and we don't really know how to how to deal with it. Um, we are playing the three at the back, the wing wing back system, um, but. I think the ball needs to go into Brad a little quicker and hold up the ball. Uh, Powell's been free a couple of times on the left-hand side but not really done enough with it. Uh, he's had a good shot. We've had maybe three or four chances in the last five minutes and a half, ten minutes and a half. So hopefully Tom will come out and carry on pressing like that and we can maybe get a point out of this. But the way it is, they look like they're going to just... It's just going to be one of those games where we just can't do enough to get back in it. Second half underway, they've made one substitute. The number 10 has gone off for number 16. Good win, good win. Pressure. Well done. Well done. Put it, put it across, put it across. Go on, Reedy. Yeah, get in. Go on, Reedy. Great bit of pressure. They've actually showed some urgency in wanting to get the ball back. Well done. to his mouth because waiting for this to, to end this passage of play and there you go people's picking it up and it's going to be full time when he kicks the ball Jezef reluctant to kick it long there you go In the end, very disappointing. Um, I'm going to find the bus, uh, get home. <laughs> I think it's going to be up the end. So yeah, uh, very lacklustre 70, 75 minutes from Tower. Showed five minutes in the first half at the end, which they were okay. Other than that, they're very poor. And then the last 10, 15, we looked like we were trying to chase it a little bit more and get into it. But other than that, uh, see the bus. Another uh, poor performance. More points dropped. Uh, I don't know what to say really, on to the next one. I could see a girl was covered for me. Still a lot more to go. <laughs> right, 
Right, <laughs> back in Tamworth after a long trip back. Um, I think, unfortunately, the injury to Jonah really cost us. We didn't really know what we were doing once he was off. Um, I don't think Burnsy in the middle of the two set of centre-backs worked as a back three. I think um, he probably should have just gone straight to a back four and then uh, maybe gone 4-4-2. Four, four, but it's all, it's all good looking back and saying what you could have done. Um, the players didn't do it on the pitch, unfortunately. Uh, Boston had a good work a good work rate and a good plan and they seemed to work to it and it worked couldn't really do anything about it uh, Tamworth had a couple of chances at the end of the set, uh, first half maybe two or three where they could have put some in and they didn't and uh, we just lacked that bit in the final third there's a couple of shots that went a bit wayward and their keeper made two good saves other than that there wasn't really much to speak of for Tamworth uh, Brad Reed's goal was a bit of good work from some pressure uh, but it was just too late by then. We'd, uh, we'd almost given up the ghost. It was sort of a here's one for, for coming. Cheers, boys. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we have Brackley Town in two weeks' time uh, at home, so that should be a good game. Uh, we'll see. The, bit, the next two weeks are a very big. Uh, the next two weeks are going to be very big for Andy Morell to see who he can bring in and out because uh, Deeney's going out so we need to get another midfielder in. Um, Wharton and Kettle's loans both end in a week or two. Um, how long Jonah's going to be out for is another one. Uh, hopefully it's just uh, a bit of a knock on the head and he should be able to carry on but he did look a big welt on the other side of his head so that might put him out of action for a bit which means we only have two physical defenders. Um, I think up to, not up to, uh, Lane should be back within the next week or two so he should be back for the Brackley game and maybe the same with Upton and Brandon Fox who I haven't seen anything of to be fair so it'd be nice to see him on the pitch but um, I think it's one of those we'll see what the next two weeks holds if there is any updates you catch them on my Twitter it'll be in the link below um, there is uh, some stuff as well going on with um, the club so Thursday night I think they're doing a play player interviews with two of the players so I might try and get down here and get a little bit of that filmed if I can and maybe ask a few questions if I can but um, we shall see. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, liking the vlog. Unfortunately, the result was not a good one today. 3-1 loss. But uh, on to the next one. See you in the next one. Bye.